Hello everybody, this is QuickSquare here, and today we are back playing Hermit Pack in our single player world. And, yes, we are back here. Um, this is where I logged off last, right next to the nuke. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we are going to head home using our Spectre Key. Dun -dun -dun. I think this is, I, I don't know why, I just absolutely love the fact that you can just that you can do this, and I need to set this up on Creedcraft at some point for when I need to get home on there. I've already needed to walk home a fair distance uh, one time because I didn't have access to a teleporter and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we are back here because um, as much as I want to do the mechanism setup up to tier 5, we're already going to be working on mechanisms soon in Creedcraft because of the ore processing and stuff like that. And so, what we are going to do in today's episode is get some bat wings. And since uh, we are doing flight via the uh, Extra Utilities 2, golden ring fly thingy we are going to be doing the actually editions version of flying creative flight in this uh thing because the actually editions doesn't require grid power or anything um yeah but that requires six bat wings we have those some empowered diametine crystal blocks and uh, an ender star now an ender star requires dragon's breath nether star black quartz and a prismarine shard and so we're gonna go hunt a prismarine shard uh craft up those diametine blocks and be back okay here we are the that star right there and then move those items and ta-da now we have wings of the bat and it gave us another actually additions manual but now we should have creative flight finally that's something that we probably put off for a little too long in this world, but that's okay. <laughs> we have it now, and that is super nice. And that didn't take very much time at all. Hmm, what else are we going to do today? Oh, psh, well, it was staring me right in the face this whole time. We gotta clean this room up. My goodness, maybe... You know what? The new thing we're going to do for this episode, because I know we've been cleaning up a lot uh, recently, and we will probably, uh, we still have a bit to do on Sky Factory and stuff like that, and so what we are going to do is uh, put the force fields in these doors and stuff, and have like on-off switches and stuff like that for these, uh, so these doors actually function. And so, um, but anyway, the first thing we need to do is clean up this room, and uh, as part of that, I think we want to make a machine room, because a lot of these machines uh, I, I actually still use on a regular basis. Some of them, at least. And so uh, we're probably going to uh, find a spot to make a machine room, I think over this way, I'm not sure, and uh, make a machine room. What? Actually, we could just set the panel up behind this wall right here, assuming there's a bit of space. Looks like there is. Not sure why that... Yeah, no, that sounds great to me. Much nicer. Much, much nicer. Um, we still have to figure out what machine we're going to put right there. But for the moment, I made up an elite enriching factory. And we have a bunch of different uh, machines right here now. And... We are ready to move on to the next step of cleaning up, because I have cleaned up everything else in this room, and that is putting some lighting in. That is a lot of cords. My goodness. Look at all that. Ah, let's use these powered lights to do this. So, let's make up a bunch of these. Ooh, we are out of capacitors. That doesn't seem too difficult, though. Okay, maybe it is a little more difficult than I was anticipating, just simply because we don't have all the different components made up. But we should be just fine as far as the materials go to make that. And so, dun dun, dun. Now we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, that sounds great for the moment. Now... We need to position these. Let's position one right there. Let's position them with three in between each one. 
there's literally just enough space for one more of each. So two more. And that means that we have done to done our entire room made up. Now we need some conduit facades. Um, facades? Oh, are these the broken facades? They are, aren't they? And then we paint them with the ceiling tile with our painting machine, which we totally just need to get out. Um, paint it like that. Now the question is, does this one actually work? Does it, or is it transparent? Hey, it's working now! Nice! That's actually very nice. Okay, now... Now, let's run the cables up here over to, uh, around and where we need to, so that that stuff works. Ah, yes. See, now this is much closer to the vibe I wanted from this room when we first made it, and so that is super awesome. I'm very pleased with that and how it has turned out. Um, wireless powered light. They're wireless? Where are they taking power from? Because I don't think those are facades. No. Oh, these are the ones that don't need power. Okay, wow. These ones need power, but they provide more light to the whole area, and so that's why I used them uh, in the greenhouse over there and in here, because I want more light rather than less light, and so we have more, more light, and that is super awesome. Aha, uh -huh. so check this out. This is a solid thing, and we're actually going to put our speed ring back on because it warps the vision a bit, and so sometimes I just take it off just to get a better look at things. Um, now you can see, if we flip this lever, then it turns off, and if we flip it again, it turns back on. And so, essentially, we have our shield projector right up here behind where the level lever is, and we have it set to, to on to activate in redstone mode down over here. This is the color for the shield. Shield is the default texture. Um, yeah, and again, solid, all pass, uh, all things it'll act as a solid block for. And so, uh, this was not too hard to set up. Uh, we ran cables to it from above. Dun dun dun. Here is our little area up above where all of our cables are running right now. Um, pretty simple. And there are some other shield projectors that we will be running to cables to shortly. But for the moment, we are out of shield templates, and those require wool, uh, which is what we're out of right now. So if we look up shield template and the recipe, it's just a bunch of wool, a piece of glass, and some lapis. And so most of that, the glass and the lapis, isn't too bad, but the bunch of wool, we need to work on. So, yeah, that is uh, something that we need to get going. And so my solution, though, for that is to make a spawner. Haha, -ha, we are going to make a powered spawner for uh, sheep. And so, yeah, so let's do that. Sheep. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh-huh, soul vial and broken spawner, use my XP, and ta-da! Uh-huh, and now we have a sheep spawner, a broken sheep spawner, and now we can replace that with a configured slice and splice, put all the ingredients in, and now we have a Z-Logic controller. Powered spawner, empty, broken sheep spawner, Check, check. Now we need an anvil. Amvil. Bim, bim, bim. Set that down temporarily. And now we have a sheep spawner. Okay, so setting these up is pretty simple. Dun dun. dun. Put the, the blocks in the places that you want the shield to be. And then you right click on it with the wrench. It should disappear if they're if they're set to the same setting that I have it with redstone. 
and then you get the blocks that you want to cover it, put them in place, and if you're, again, if you're using redstone, then you do that, and ta-da, it should be working if I had supplied it with power, and I haven't, and so it's not working. So let's go supply it with power real quick. There, now it should be working when we go back down there. Yes, it is. Perfect. And now for the next step, we can just turn that off and then pass. No, we want it to add as a solid block for all and push add, and that should add that filter. Now, dun dun, dun ta da! It is a solid block for. Uh, everyone who wants to try and go through it. And so now we have two of our things done and things are looking very, very nice in this room. Ah, uh, yes. Now things are coming together very nicely. This room is looking super good and I am very happy with how things are looking right here. But that is about all the time we have for today's episode. And so I'm going to end it off here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we uh, looked at the RF tools shields and some other stuff like that. Um, as well as we cleaned this room up to make it look, oh man, so much nicer. I'm so glad we used these power lights. So nice. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. Uh, huh. Concussion Creeper? <laughs>